Hi everyone, Jordan Long here, or Jordan Mulan Long here, and today we talk about, you know, when an eating hall makes a mistake on your food. Now a lot of folks are going to say it's fast food, you know, eating halls that have been known to make mistakes, and folks have their beliefs behind these mistakes. Well, yeah, I wanted, you know, two hamburgers, you know, with nothing on it. That would just be the bread and the meat, right? Yeah. Well, then tell me, why did it make a mistake? Why they still put something on it when I told them not to? Oh, I don't know why. But don't worry, we'll go heal it. Yeah, you need to heal it, because I yielded good gald for it. For your so your food worth and I yielded so on this on the sales toll so like I think yeah you need to heal it a lot of folks have a belief that one a lot of folks who work in the fast food business you know the young the old that a lot of them you know aren't getting yielded enough and that's why they're making mistakes or they just don't care you know, it would be the mindset that I just don't care to take the time to do the work right. You know, need to, how much they're getting yield for and not. You know. Well, here it is. Here's your two hamburgers with nothing on it, only the bread and the meat. Well, you know, thank you for that. You know, why they make a mistake the first time? I don't know. The only thing I can come up with is some of our hirelings, you know, don't care. Some of them don't take their time. And you can make a forgiveness for them that, oh, well, they're young or they're old or they're not getting yield enough. Or some of them just don't care. You know, some of them make mistakes. Yes, that's true. And others just don't care. You know. Yeah, that's about right. But it always seems to be. But it always seems to be about right. And that's why I always got to double look at everything. After I get it. Just to make seem that. What what I might set up and yielding for. Was what I truly, what, what I truly yielded for. Yes, we understand that, and we're sorry about that. And I know there's, I know there's going to be someone out, anyone out there, you know, can bring up that saga and tale, you know, about going to whatever, whatever fast food, you know, you know, eating hall it is. Some could say Wendy's, some could say Burger King. Some could say, I don't know, Sonic, you know, some could say Arby's, whatever one they, you know, whatever it could be, Long John Silver's, whatever, I don't know, all Binlander foods, whatever, you know, and they can always talk about how, and folks can always bring up what they said, what they set up, and what they yielded for wasn't always what they bought. You know, and you got to go through and double look at everything that you've got to make see it matches up. Because you know that there's going to be someone there who doesn't care. Or someone there who makes a mistake. Or all from above. You know. And I know a lot of folks like to say, why do a lot of folks like to bring up the double standard and say why is it that the fast food eating shop seem to make mistakes on on the food that you set up and yielded for than a sit down eating hall or whatever other eating halls oh there's been times where I would think that even those eating hall businesses have made mistakes on the setup and what was yielded for I would say it's rare rare that it happens but I would think it would happen 
but it always seems to happen more times than not at a fast food shop, you know, eating hall. And the forgiveness is, is oh well, you know, they're young, they don't care. Or, you know, they're, they're old and they don't care. Or they're not getting yielded enough or whatever the forgiveness is for the mistake. If you like this film, then let me know, has it ever happened to you? And I think the answer would be yes. Well, let me know, you know, let me know, has you ever gone to a fast food eating shop or a eating, a, a fast food eating, eating house, eating stead, eating hall, or a eating hall and it's happened? <clears throat> I, Jordan Long, or Jordan Mulan Long, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.